Hello and welcome to Atlantic Yarnwork. I am Margreta and I am living in uh, Kristiansund, uh, a small town uh, almost in the middle of Norway by the coast. So it's been a while again, uh, but I'm back now. Welcome to all uh, uh, new viewers and welcome to you who have seen me before. So I have a lot of things to tell you. Uh, it's been a, yeah, a bit over a month since uh, last episode. So it was about time. Since it is, it has been uh, over a month since the last episode, I have some things to tell you today, but uh, I will see if I take it all in one episode or uh, maybe I will uh, make several episodes of it. Uh, but I can first start with the admin stuff. I have three cows going on in my rival rivalry group. <laughs> rivalry is a difficult word to say. Um, the first one is uh, the heart cardigan that I knitted uh, or designed myself. I made it the uh, first time as a present for my fifth, for the fiftieth birthday of uh, one of my best friends, and I think she likes it. She used it a lot. Uh, I have finished uh, the one. Uh, cardigan I was supposed to knit I was I was going to uh, knit two this uh, spring because uh, I got a woman who asked me if I could knit it for her and I want one for myself too uh, the first one is finished as I said it is in grey uh, main color grey and uh, the contrast color is uh, off-white or uh, it's called cream uh, but unfortunately I have sent it to her so I don't have uh, have it to show you finished now but I will put uh, pictures in the end of the episode and uh, the other one for myself I haven't started yet and I don't think I will manage to finish it before uh, the end of this cal I put the end date on uh, the 30th of uh, June so if you want to join me there's still time I have put my finished objects uh, up on the uh, car thread on Ravelry so you can see it there and of course there's a discount code that you can use on the pattern if you want to uh, the other uh, Cal I have is um, uh, the ha um, sorry the uh, Skumring cardigan or Nightfall cardigan by Skander. I was supposed to knit that too this fall, no this uh, spring. Sorry, uh, but some other things came up, so I didn't start that one either yet but i will start as long as soon as i finish the project i have now uh, i will start uh, the nightfall cardigan because i love that cardigan the colors are all mine uh, i'm gonna knit it in uh, almost the same colors as uh, skander the blue blue and uh, light blue and up to white and i am so looking forward to get that finished uh, that cal is also uh, going on to uh, the end of June, so if you want to join me and maybe win some prizes, you are welcome to join me there. Uh, the third uh, cal I have is uh, patterns from Lily of uh, Nordic Stitches. Uh, I have bought some um, uh, patterns from her, but yeah. I didn't uh, start them yet so I was thinking about the, uh, the end of April but uh, I think we we'll say the end of June uh, with that one too so if you are knitting anything of uh, Lily's patterns uh, you can join uh, or you can put the picture of the your finished object in my uh, rubber thread there 
and uh, you will win some prizes. I, the prizes will be, uh, I think I will sew a project bag and maybe put some yarns inside of it. So welcome to join me there. Uh, so finished object is only uh, the hard cardigan. I had uh, to uh, finish that one because the woman who uh, wanted it was uh, kind of waiting. She wasn't asking much, but you know how it is when you knit for some someone. So as I said, I will put a picture of that in uh, the end of the uh, the episode. But what am I working on? Um, I showed you last time I was working on uh, the Sorbea cardigan. It is in this project bag that I bought from Amelia X Joy on uh, Etsy. Knitting sheeps. Uh, I was knitting this cardigan for my daughter. <coughs> and it is like this you know i was starting on the top and knitting down to the bottom and it is uh, i if you remember that last time i was showing it i was uh, starting on uh, this color but my daughter didn't want to measure herself before i started it so when she came home i was trying to measure it i was laying in on her back and found out that this is going to be the all too small so i had to rip it up up to uh, the rib here and start all over again so now I have white on the top, there's gray, there is a uh, light blue, darker gray, uh, kind of uh, oh, focus, yeah, there is focus, uh, kind of, um, yeah, blue-ish, Turkish-ish, and dark blue, and I started uh, uh, rib uh, at the bottom but I still have the arms left but I think this will be beautiful in these colors uh, the yarn is um, uh, drops air like this uh, it is uh, it says a medium thick blow yarn made of baby alpaca and merino wool. It is, um, yeah, 65% alpaca, 28% polyamide, and 7% wool. I knit it with uh, knit knitting needles number five, so it's going to be, it is quick, a quick knit, but. Yeah, I still have the arms left. So, and the reason that I didn't, didn't finish that one was that my aunt asked, uh, no, sorry, my niece asked me if I could knit some clothes for her boys. She has a one and a half year old boy and she got a new boy. Uh, in February, he is now uh, seven weeks old. So uh, they're going to have going to have the christening of uh, the second boy, uh, the twelfth of May, and she wanted me to knit this one for her two boys. And when she asked, of course, I can't say no. So I was, am going to knit two of this uh, to, uh, before the christening. Or I said, I will be able to knit one, but I'm not sure if I could knit both of them before that date. But uh, the old, it was uh, 
uh, important to her to get the, the get it finished to the oldest boy because he was going to uh, have it at a christening of his uh, baby brother and you know the baby brother was going to use the uh, christening dress anyway we have a christening dress that my my grandmother my mother's mother used the first time uh, it was sewn to her and her brother used it and after that uh, my uh, parents uh, no my, sorry my mother and my aunts and uncle used it and after that my generation generation has used it almost every one of my cousin and now um the fourth generation are using it so it has been uh, very important for us in the family so he uh, the baby boy is going to use that anyway so i will finish this one i guess uh, or I, I have to finish it before may and this is from this book lille bolle uh i think this is only on uh on norwegian There's many beautiful patterns inside there <clears throat> and i'm going to show you how far i have come but i have to pick up the bag because i think it's falling down just a second oh i put it over here No, I'm in my craft room uh, now, where I have uh, where I have my uh, shop yarn. This is my some of my shop yarn, uh, and this is my private yarn. But I still have a lot of things here in here. I'm not going yet to show you it uh, yet. Maybe some other day. <coughs> but. Um, uh, the, uh, the dress I'm uh, knitting to uh, the boys are called uh, Bunad, uh, Bunad's body, and it is in this bag uh, in the uh, fabric that I bought in uh, Nepal, in uh, Pukhara in Nepal. And I made it myself. Uh, I'm going to show you how far I'm come. Uh, this is uh, the body. The body is finished up to the arms. I was in a um, conference for three days and I was knitting and knitting all days. So it's going to be buttons uh, down here to close it. And uh, one arm is finished and I am knitting on the other arm so I will finish this one in Easter or in a few days I think this is knitted in alpaca silk alpaca on silk uh, this is um, seven to percent baby alpaca and 30 percent mulberry silk and it is very soft and lovely uh, yarn this is from sonia's yarn uh, the hat i'm going to need of uh, this one lerke from uh, dale dale yarns this is uh, 53 percent merino wool and 40 seven percent uh egyptian cotton very lovely for um hat i think and uh, the shorts is going to be in uh, this yarn uh, lanette baby ul baby wool from sonia's gun this is uh 100 percent merino wool and it is uh, 
black and uh, gray. Black uh, shorts with a gray pattern in. Or as the second color. It is the first time I have knitted uh, a kind of set, baby set, with three different uh, kind of yarns. Uh, because uh, when my kids were small, uh, I was knitting uh, to them and to my friends and uh, when they got babies. Uh, and it, it was always uh, the same kind of yarn uh, to all the dresses or to the jacket, to the trousers and hats and everything. But now is the first time I'm knitting with three kinds to the same dress. But that doesn't mind. Uh, so that is what I am working on right now. Uh, the next thing I am going, because I have been to many uh, knitting related uh, kind of things uh, lately. Uh, the first one I'm going to tell you about was that I received this one. Isn't this one cute? Uh, you know Fibershare? Maybe some of you have been to been uh, a part of it. Uh, if you go to Fibershare.com you can see what it is. It is <clears throat> one woman in uh, the United States who are organizing or oh, we are um, uh, kind of uh, buying uh, a place in the fiber share and she is uh, going uh, or she is um, what do you call it uh, uh, she put people together one that you I get two uh, fiber share friends one that I am going to send uh, a package to and I one that I'm going to receive from and uh, I told you about uh, last time I was in uh, la last fall uh, then I got both of my Fabisher friends from the United States but this time uh, I was sending to a friend, uh, share friend in Florida and I was receiving from Finland and I have uh, not any experience in Finnish wool or Finnish yarn uh, except from when I was at a knitting festival in Orkanger, uh, Mitnorsk Strike Festival uh, in uh, October last year. I was buying some Finnish yarn but I haven't used it yet. yet. But I got this from Laura. Uh, she says, hello, so nice to have been partnered with you. I hope you find some time to knit and enjoy yourself. I hope you find uh, some new things to try in this fiber share package. With love from Finland, Laura. And you know, Laura was my grandmother's name. <sighs> and I got a, a huge package from her. Uh, it was tea and it was chocolate and it was I should I shouldn't have ate it because it was moomy um, moomy uh, we call it lakris uh, not sure what that is called in English but it's come some kind of uh, candy things and it was so cute but I ate it already <clears throat> but the yarn stuff I got was this bag, a white simple bag but very nice with this string uh, in the top and here was three skeins from Tuku wool. It is sock yarn, 80% finished wool and 20% polyamide. In this, uh, no it's, is it black? Yes, no, I think it was dark, dark, very dark blue or navy blue. And a red one, looks almost black, but it is blue, yes. And a white one is 
the color is of the Norwegian flag or uh, similar to because the blue we have is uh, it's not as dark so uh, I am looking forward to try to knit from this um, this is uh, as I said sock yarn and it is uh, recommended needles uh, bah, bah, bah. if I can find it doesn't say but it is 160 meters uh, per 50 gram so needles number three or something or maybe it is the needles that I got inside uh, or, or in the package this is uh, wooden needles that I haven't tried yet I never tried to uh, to knit with wooden needles but this is uh, number three so or three millimeters so I'm gonna knit uh, or find me a nice pair of socks to knit with this if you have some uh, that you can recommend please send me the link that was the first package that I got uh, the second one was this one this bag with uh, uh, swans on it I think very lovely doesn't it says uh, no, urban urban place yeah I don't know if you see it but urban place inside here it was a lot first of all, look at these colors oh this is so my colors I, I love it uh, this is uh, handu hand dyed hand dyed yarn it is uh, merino wool or 75 percent merino wool uh, 25 percent polyamide 425 meters per uh, 100 grams so this could be some nice socks too but it could also be a shawl or uh, something later i will um, take care of it so uh, I find the perfect project for it and I got uh, this skein uh, this is called Tiku from Novita maybe you heard of Novita uh, I know we sell Novita in Norway some places but not many places this is 100 gram 400 meters and it is also 75% wool and 25% polyamide. I think maybe she, she know that I like to knit socks. Uh, and I got this one. Vetu. Vetu. I have no idea how to pronounce Finnish. So I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Uh, this is... 85% wool and 15% polyamide. This is uh, 260 meters uh, on 100 grams skeins. And this is very soft and lovely. Uh, this could be maybe a hat or uh, maybe some mittens or something. I will see. So that was what I got from her. <clears throat> Just going to put it back in the bag so I know where it is. The next thing I was on was on a knitting evening uh, at Hanskan. Uh, maybe you've seen the podcast uh, Strik Polonia Hanskan with Marietta and Janne. Uh, Marietta uh, has this uh, kind of farmhouse uh, 
uh, an hour drive from where I live. So uh, she was inviting people to a knitting uh, evening in uh, February and I was going there. Uh, I didn't know many people who was there, but I knew a few, so, and I met, of course, Jana and Merete there. And uh, there was, uh, or there is um, a yarn shop in uh, my town that is called Koriander's Hus. Uh, she was there uh, selling, uh, with some of uh, her yarns, selling yarn, of course. And I found this Rowan felted tweed, or this way. And I just love these colors. Uh, this uh, yellow, or uh, yeah, kind of yellow, uh, this orange, and this uh, uh, red brown something. And I was uh, buying two of each skeins of this. But uh, I didn't know what to make of it, but I just love the colors and the yarn. So, um, yeah, so I was buying it, of course. Uh, this is 50% uh, uh, wool, 25% alpaca, and 25% viscosa. Very soft, and I uh, when I came home, I was looking at uh, because Marietta on that night she had um, shawls as a theme on the night, and she was showing off uh, a lot of shawls that she has been knitting. Uh, and uh, when I came home, I was looking at patterns to use this yarn for. And I saw, I don't remember the name now, but I saw a pattern uh, with, um, uh, or from um, Stephen West. But that was four colors, so I need one more color to go with this. Uh, it's just a bit difficult to uh, choose when you are on, uh, the, sh on the shop or um, at the yarn shop when I don't have this with me. So I think I need to take a picture of this so I can uh, find a color that matches. So, um, I think that is what I have for you today. Uh, I have some more to tell you, but I will make one more episode later uh, this Easter because, you know, it's Easter holiday here in Norway. And I had two and a half day off work and because we have one of the longest Easter holidays in the world, uh, I have 10 days off this Easter and I just love it. <laughs> Uh, but that means that I got time to uh, make a new episode later in uh, the Easter, maybe on Sunday or Monday. So this will be it for now. Um, I hope to see you again, or, or I hope you like this episode. And please push uh, subscribe if you are not doing that already. And um, yeah. I hope you have a very nice Easter holiday, wherever you are. Leave a comment if you want, or uh, and join my Ravelry group uh, if you want to join the Knit Alongs, or if you just want to uh, join my group. Okay, so bye-bye, see you later.